Hi YouTube, it's Lena, and I'm here today with my Project Use It Up update. For those of you tuning in for the first time, this is just my kind of continuously rolling mini Project Pan, I guess you would call it, because it's like 99% of what I focus on in here. It's mostly just skincare, hair care, body care minis that I have pop up. And it's where I put things like mascara to remind me to throw them out after three months because I have sensitive eyes. I can't really play with the uh, expiration dates on that. So, uh, for what I finished from last time, uh, my mascara did end up giving up the ghost, the Wet n Wild Max Volume Plus. I also had the Becca Skin Love Brighten and Blur Primer, and that is done. Now this I had, but I cannot find it, but I did finish it. It was in my Makeup Empties for 2021, which I will link down below. But the Tarte Lip Quench in Berry, not entirely sure where that went. Might be sitting under my couch at the moment. I don't know, but did finish it. I had the Pure Lease Water Watermelon Energizing Aqua Balm, just the moisturizer, was right here last time and that is now done. I had the last bits of the Cos RX Advanced 96 Snail Mucin Power Essence. I said the 96 and snail backwards, but I'm sure you guys will forgive me. It was about right here last time. It is done. I had it in a different container. I had it in one of those little screw on pots, but I did finish the rest of the number seven Protect and Perfect Intense Advanced Eye Cream. Just don't have the actual pot sitting in front of me right now. I actually finished this this month, so I actually need to make sure this goes back into my January empties. But it is the Acure Brightening Facial Scrub. It, it was like right here last time. I didn't have that much left, but a little bit of this goes a long way. And I finished the last little bit of the e.l.f. Uh, Super Mask. So that is now done. So the two things that I'm carrying over, one I used and one I didn't, I swear, one of these days I will use this up. It's the Pure DNKY Body Butter. The smell is a bit intense and I'm working on other moist body moisturizers at the moment. Honestly, what's probably gonna happen is I'm probably gonna end up using this up as a hand cream or something. I don't know. We'll see when I get to it. There are other hand creams I want to finish up first as well. And I have my Living Proof Anti-Frizz Humidity Shield Finishing Hairspray. I did use this a few times last month. Uh, last time it weighed 73.2 grams. Now it is 66.5. Literally, I used it like a couple of times. It is still at least two-thirds of the way full. This is going to be in here a while. I don't go through hairsprays that often. This is literally my only one. I honestly just don't think to use them. And I did use four sheet masks last month. Nope, it's stuck. <laughs> I have the Cream Shop Power Up Skin Alien Mask. Two from two more from the Cream Shop. They are the Fusion Sheet Masks in Rose Gold and Coconut and Chia. And I have the Maskology Watermelon Moisturizing Mask. If you would like to know my opinion on any of the stuff that I finished, I will link my empties from December down below. Now, getting into, well, I say this month, but, you know, the next, like, 30 days. <laughs> so first are my two mascaras, actually, that need to be let go of soon. First is the L'Oreal Miss Baby Roll Mega Volume Mascara. My friend Hannah sent me this from Australia a while ago, a while ago. And I still really do love it, but unfortunately, L'Oreal is not cruelty-free. And this is my last one, so... I need to use it up and say goodbye and mourn it. And what I've been using is kind of a primer slash layering mascara slash bottom lash mascara. It's the CoverGirl Clump Crusher Extensions. Honestly, I haven't really been enjoying this. It's kind of a pain in the ass to actually get product on the wand, but I've been using it and it's about it. So. Next I have if you follow me on Instagram, you know I'm trying to do the 100 Colorful Masks Challenge this year. And I have a little mask in here. It is the Murad Intensive C Radiance Peel. So it is up to here. This only really has a couple of uses in it. Hopefully I can get that used up soon. Next, I have the 
Inner Sense Sweet Spirit Leave-In Conditioner for the Hair. It is right here currently, so that'll honestly I need to wash my hair more often, but that'll take me one to two months to use up more than likely. Something a little different than normal, I actually have a perfume in here. So this is the Kate Spade New York Perfume. It's actually quite nice. We are starting right here. That is what I've gotten through since the beginning of the year. So this might just take a month. I'm not entirely sure, but I will be working on it. I need to remember to wear perfume because I do have one full size from Chanel that I really need to use up this year. And I have two minis and I think I have a fragrance oil floating around somewhere. I don't have a lot of perfume. I have a lot of body sprays, so I kind of want to get through my perfumes and then start using the body sprays as perfumes even more so. So I really need to work all of those out because I have a crap ton of them. Next, just a little moisturizer. This is the Sunday Riley Ice Ceramide Moisturizing Cream. It's probably something I can only use at night because it looks really thick. It has an interesting spell as well. Its current weight is 22.3 grams, so hopefully I can get that done relatively soon. I have the Murad Revite Elixir Recovery Serum. Its weight is currently 14.5 grams, because I think the holes are too small for me to like shove a straightened out paper clip through, so I didn't even try. And I have the G Sunday Riley Juno Ex Antioxidant Superfood Face Oil. I promise I can speak. I've only just started using this. It is about right here. That's gonna take me like at least two months to get through just because, you know, I can't use a lot of oil at once unless I wanna be a giant grease ball. As for the sheet masks I wanna work on in the next like month-ish, I have the Hellogannic One A Day Water Hydrating Mask. The BRTC Vitamin B5 Velvet Mask. The Tony Moly, the Choc Choc Green Tea Watery Sheet Mask. Vitamasks Glow Juice Berries Biogradable Sheet Mask and Eco Pouch, so that's always really cool. A Garnier Moisture Balm Sheet Mask. This is the anti-fatigue one, I guess. This is from the Dollar Tree. It is a Be Pure Sprinkles face mask in a berry scent. The Avet Daily Fresh Squeeze sheet mask. The Sam S A E M Natural Shea Butter sheet mask. Tula Skin Care Star Bright Nourish and Brighten Cosmic Hydrogel mask. And a Biorace. Intense Hydrating Spirulina Mask. So, feels like that was So, kind of short and sweet, but hey, that's not necessarily a bad thing. But thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I do really appreciate it. And hopefully, I'll see you later. Bye.